Welcome everybody to Morning Miss May, Member Ranking Monday. My name is Jeremy, and I am joined today by Miss Nicki Minaj. And I gotta eat your pies! <laughs> to be completely honest, I wouldn't have known. You could have sang anything, and I would have just been like, yeah, perfect! That's, you can literally do anything, Nicki Minaj, just be like, and I'm gonna drink a soda, and I'm gonna drink a soda, and I really, 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 really like the soda, and I'm gonna drink a soda, and I spilled on myself, it's all and over the place. Love, 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 love. Today, we are going to be ranking our number 12th member, and I'm gonna start it off this week. My number 12 is Miss Nakazawa Yuko. The first time that I saw Miss Nakazawa Yuko, I just saw hair and nails of clacking. She's she's Michelle Visage she's, without the boobs. She's to blame for Gaki's nail obsession <laughs> and maybe even her weave obsession. I really like Yuko's. What was that face? Empty <laughs> gun. And so you made a, a face. Was, made you look like a thumb. I was stuck on my thumb face. It's a thumb. <laughs> he's not even a real person. He's just a thumb. That's what I think about Channing Tatum. Oh. Moving along, I really like Yuko's brassy voice and her abrasive personality. I've always really felt sad for Yuko. She finally got her role in show business and in, in entertainment. 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 And then it was just snatched away by Abe and Titless Goto. And I think if I were in her position, I would be angry and bitter all the time, which is probably why she looked like she wanted to be anywhere else except Morning Musume. And anytime she got a chance to be sexy, she was grabbing at her sniz in Love Machine, swiveling her hips, grabbing onto yeah, herself. Love she had a moment. She was doing it because she was just like, I need to express my sexuality. It also just makes me have giggle fits that they had her sing the bridge role at Happy Summer Wedding about finding the Naka... What was it? What was that guy's name? I don't know. I don't know the bridge. I don't listen to Happy Summer Wedding. That's on the list of the songs that I only put up with because you make me. <laughs> Sugimoto-san. That's what his name was. That's... I'm pretty sure. They, it was just... It makes me laugh that they made her sing that and she was like... single forever and ever and ever, and I almost just feel like forever and ever, ever alone. I really wish that Yuko had actually found someone with that last name because that would have been poetic. But Yuko was really hard working and she was determined, and I really feel like if it hadn't been for her and her big clackety nails stomping down that Morning Musume stage, I really feel like the girls wouldn't be where they're at right now because she kind of paved the way with her big, bold, brassy personality. Thank you, Mini Sunku clone with a blonde weave for making Morning Musume what it is now. Thank you, Nakazawa Yuko. I still am convinced that she and, and Sunku are the same person. Have you ever seen them in the same room? And that is why Yuko is my number 12. So Jacob, take it away, who is your Number 12 member. My number 12 is the incomparable, the danceable, the Young and sweet, only 17. Ayumi. Ayumi of the 10th generation, Dance. Ayumis. I. <laughs> Ayumi and the Ayu Ayuettes. And the Ayuettes. <laughs> Charisma, uniqueness, nerve. <laughs> That's. That's Ayumi. Ayumi is a fantastic dancer and I maintain that she is the best dancer in Morning Musume at this juncture. Um, I think... Probably in all time. Yes. And I know that Riho is often touted as the dancer extraordinaire of Mumasu. Uh, however, I think that Ayumi is a more compelling dancer. Maybe Riho is very good. I do I do agree, Riho is a great dancer, mm -hmm. and I think they are pretty on par with their dancing skills. I think the difference is that Ayumi is a more compelling and interesting to watch dancer, whereas Riho is not. There's something a little boring about and herky-jerky about her dancing. Ayumi just has always had this sort of elevated sense of grace and refinement about her. Almost like Rika. Yeah, she's, she's a lady, damn it. And that is is really what the main reason why I've always been fond of Ayumi. I really can't say much about her singing because I feel like I don't really remember it when she does sing. 
It's not bad, but it's kind of just like, she's saying, good, you go, girl. That's she's at the higher part of like the current lineup. Yeah, she she's has higher, a good voice, the top. but she also, she also hits that weird middle thing where she's not so good that you're like, damn, that is a voice like Zuki or um, Sakura. Sakura. Uh, but she's not so bad that you're like, damn, that's bad. Like Riho is like because Arena. of, or Arena because of the vocal damage. Or Haruna. Or Haruna. So, um, Ayumi is good, but just not in a memorable way with her singing, but makes up for that with her dancing and her presence in the group because she is just this beautiful, tall, statuesque model of a girl. I do feel like she is an important con contributor to the current group, more so than some of the other girls, and I feel like she is one of those girls who stands out as being a major contributor in her own fashion. Maybe that's not in singing, but, you know, at the end of the day, Morning Musume is an idol group, not a singing group. And the distinction I make there is an idol group is not just a bunch of people who could sing, it's people, Clearly. you know, it's girls who can sing, who can act, who can dance, who can do magic, create a personality. Miranda Singh should be in this group. Who can create a personality that um, is desirable and um, is something you look up to, like an idol. So, and I feel like she contributes more to the idol side of things than necessarily the singing side of things or the music side of things, but her contributions are good. And that is why she's my number 12. That's a good reason. Last week we asked who your number 12 ranked Winnie the Sue member was, and the response we got, we got Goto Maki. Feel that she and Sakura were the only successful one-person generations. <laughs> Miss Yuyaika. Kazumi Kwaru. Excuse me. We have Fujimoto Miki! I have this one hand that's just falling in front of my face. We have another Goto Maki, but this is pre boob job Goto Maki, not post boob job. Um, Interesting distinction to make. <laughs> then we got June June, and I think that's a pretty good, pretty good number for June June, considering her singing, dancing, and acting skills were good, but not perfect. Like, <clears throat> being number 12 is a really good number. And then we got maybe Sayumi or something. <laughs> She's a goddess, but I don't love her attitude. I, I I go back and forth with Sayumi's attitude. I think sometimes she's a little little fake. But yeah. And then we clearly have a troll. We have um, Riho, who says she's the best vocalist to ever grace Hello Project. So clearly we've never heard Abe or Mari or you know K Godo. I Chan, Gaki, Miki, Reina. Koharu was a better singer than Riho. They compared her to Beyonce. This is a fantastic troll. And then we got another Miki. So I think we're getting up to numbers where people are gonna start agreeing on who is in these top this top tier. Oh. And then we got Ikuta Erina. And we got a pretty long response on why she was good. And I feel like 12 is a really good number for Arena. 12 is a really, really good number. We ranked her so much lower. <laughs> Oops. So thank you for your responses. Please let us know who your number 11 ranked Morning Moose member is in the comments below. And we will talk about those a little bit next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye! Bye! Bye.